Okay, in, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a game that will keep a high score um, that anyone in the world can try and beat. And for this tutorial, I am going to base it on the Mole Mash 2 tutorial. So, ooh, yes, I've just beaten the world high score, uh, which you'll find on the uh, App Inventor website. And you can just Google that yourself. Um, Mole Mash 2. Here it is. The Mole Mash 2 tutorial is the one I base mine on. Uh, it's the one you want here. Mole Mash 2 is sprite layering. Now you can either go through the tutorial and make it yourself. It's a very good tutorial. Um, but if you go to the end, you'll find that there is some source code down here down the bottom here, source code, and if you click on that, you, it will download the source code to your computer, so you'll get an AIA file, which you will then need to import into App Inventor. So that's just a simple download, as you can see, it creates that little AIA file. And then if you go to uh, App Inventor 2, to Projects, you'll see that you can import the project, so you just need to find it yourself, and away you go. So that gives you a great head start. If you don't want, if you've already made it, um, that is. Okay, now the way to get a global high score is to put the high score itself, this world best here, in a place where anybody in the world can get to it when they're playing the game, so the app can reach it. So uh, many players can be playing your game at any time all over the world, and then all be checking, the app will be checking against this um, number here, which is our high score. So we need to do that. Um, fortunately, App Inventor provides us with a tool to do this and it's called the uh, Tiny Web DB. If you go to storage, you'll see it there. And there it is. Now what I've just done, uh, I'll just pause the video, is I've opened up the uh, Mole Mash um, AIA file that I imported rather than use the other one which I was showing you earlier on. So this is uh, not necessary anymore, this guy. Um, so what we're going to do is drag the component over into our... There's my companion just uh, disconnecting into our uh, app. And here you'll see TinyWebDB. And it's important that this tiny little thing up here, this URL or web address, is where you're going to store the high score itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it, paste it into a new tab. Now this is the default database that comes with App Inventor and everybody uses it. Um, and I'll be just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use it to create a, a high score value but obviously, if you want yours to be uh, safe and secure, you'll need to make your own tiny WebDB, and you can do that. Um, there are instructions on the um, App Inventor website for doing it if you Google how to create a tiny WebDB. But this will work fine for the tutorial. So I'm going to store a value, and you'll see that I've done it before. So I'm going to create a tag called High Score, which you can see down there. High Score. And I'll give it an initial value. Well, I'm going to give it an initial value of 6. Um, why not? I could give it a value of 0, but anyway. Give it a starting value, so store a value. And you'll see that that's in there. Now, you can always check what's in there if you do a get value any time you like. So you can always have a look in your high score and see what it is. OK, so you can see it's actually set to 6 at the moment. And I use this, I use this quite a lot when I'm testing. Um, it's always good to have a look at and trace and see what's going on behind the scenes in your database just to make sure that things are what you expect them to be and you can always reset values and so on yourself. Okay, so um, we've got the uh, database set up and configured. And two things we need to do on here is to put a label on here um, to hold the text for the world best and also the a label to store the value as well. So I'm going to put a label in here next to that end. We'll drag it to the end of that, to the right of the zero. And that's going to be my 
world best. Um, we're going to put a space after that as well, so there's some gap between it and the actual value of the high school. So the uh, next thing is another label after that as well, so I'll put that and drag it over to the right. Okay, and I'm going to put a, a default value of uh, zero on there, so text will just say zero. The other thing you can see here is that the text sizes are vastly different. So I'm going to change the text size, I'm actually going to make it a bit smaller because we need room to store these massive numbers for all these people scoring huge high scores. So I'm going to make that size 18. That's better. I leave the numbers quite big. Match, match this one in the same size so that it looks consistent. And I think the size for the numbers is 28. So I'll make that size 28 as well. Good. OK, so the sizes look good. Next thing we need to do, of course, now is to do the programming. We've got the interface ready. Let's get coding. So if you go to the, the next tutorial, tutorial number two, I'll get, we'll get cracking on with the coding. Bye.